These are Singer Long Bobbins and they go with Grandma, my Singer 27 from 1912. This is the bobbin out of my Singer Touch and Sew and I know this one holds around about 20 yards. The reason I know this bobbin holds around about 20 yards is because the manual tells me. Full bobbin, approximately 20 yards and that's up to that outside white line just there. What I don't know is how many yards this kind of bobbin holds. I've got two pre-wound touch and sew bobbins and I've got an original sing-along bobbin and the reproduction modern long bobbin. And what I'm going to do is transfer this thread to this. This is the original Singer bobbin and there's the empty touch and sew bobbin. So although it hasn't made a particularly neat job here, it has managed to, to get the whole 20 yards or thereabouts on the long bobbin. Singer long bobbin like this one will hold around about 20 yards, which is the same amount as the Singer Touch and Sew. You'll probably find that it'll wind a lot neater if you actually wind it from a reel on your spool pin rather than from another bobbin, but it will hold it. The modern reproduction bobbins, on the other hand, fall a lot short. There's still around about five yards left on this touch and sew bobbin, which means these only hold 15 yards or thereabouts. Let's find out why there was such a difference in how much thread each of these bobbins would take. We're gonna start with the original bobbin, which is this one, and then we'll come back to the modern one in a little while. Okay, if we start with the length, and I'm going to include the bobbly bits in this. Okay, that's the original bobbin and it's measuring 33.70 mil. If we try the diameter of the shaft next, just move that back in a little bit. That's coming out at 2.48 mil. The next measurement we're going to have a look at is the actual diameter of the end of the bobbin, 8.04 mil, and the width of the end of the bobbin, that's coming out at 0.19. If we try the same process with the modern or the reproduction bobbin, the length from 
bobbly bit to bobbly bit is 31.82 mil. The diameter of the end of the bobbin is 7.71 mil and the width of the end of the bobbin is 0.44 mil. So even though these two bobbins do look incredibly similar, there is a slight variation in the specifications of each, which does make a bit of a difference when it comes to putting thread on each of the two types. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And why not go and check out some of the other videos on this channel using these links coming up on the screen any minute now, or the ones I'll pop in the description box below for you. And why not subscribe and ring the little bell that's just down there so that YouTube can give you a notification when I upload another video. Whichever video you go and check out next, I hope to see you back here for the next one. And in the meantime, whatever you're sewing, whatever you're sewing it with, embrace your creativity and have fun. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.